A good morning from St. Isidore's Farm. It is a beautiful day. Hopefully not as windy because we might actually get the greenhouse film on there today. We got all of our spring lock bases finally, so we're gonna spend the day getting all the bases screwed onto the building. But as you can see, the greenhouse structure is essentially done, completed. Got the other door in yesterday down here. So this is a steel door on this end. We got them both at Habitat Restore, Habitat for Humanity. We've got the return manifolds, and those are two feet off the ground. So for both layers, they're gonna come up on that side. The intake pipes, we've just got these sitting here in the in the ground because we just didn't want any dirt falling in while we were doing some grading but we're waiting on the fans to arrive today once the fans arrive and know the exact dimensions but more importantly what the mounting brackets are going to look like we'll figure out how to get these installed so say you've come around this way actually let's go down we still got to get the electric panel up I'm, I'm being indecisive about how I want to do that. But this should be a pretty exciting day uh, between you know today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. This thing should be completely done, up and running, functional greenhouse, we hope. We'll see what we get done. What you working on, Sam? I'm working on drilling holes through spring lock bases. You are? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what you got. All right, just that easy, huh? <laughs> you got all these done. You got those to go. Yeah. All right. Keep going. <laughs> Sam, you know what the safety sallies are going to say, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> wear glasses. <laughs> oh, wear glasses. <laughs> ah! That'd be father, father fail. fans just showed up so hopefully they're they are the right thing and we'll see how big they are that's one of the things we were waiting for was the mounting bracket caution sharp edge and there's the fan Pretty decent size fan. So I think this is your, yeah, this is the intake side. And then this is the uh, side that'll go into, into the tubes. So the other thing I was, whoo, we got some pollen coming. One of my other concerns is this is gonna be too big. Yep. So, um, cause this is the exterior of a six inch pipe is really six and a half inches and this is six inches exactly so I got a little bit of an issue there unless it'll go straight into it it does go straight into now that's interesting so hmm when you think about there we could probably just screw this straight into the end of the pipe and forego a $30 rubber boot. All right, well, we gotta finish this end wall. We're gonna try and get plastic on tonight, so we'll play with these later.
49 degrees outside, 109 degrees in here with 30, that cannot be right, 36% humidity, something's gotta be wrong, but it was 99% was a high humidity, um, and 111 was the high so far today. We shot that video a couple hours ago. We've been in here working since and have had the doors open and it's much more comfortable in the greenhouse now. First thing you can see, we got both fans up. So we got this one and the other one in and tied down into the ground. Just temporarily wired this with, the, with an extension cord, but you can see not very, not very loud. And if we go over here, it's really blowing a lot of air, much cooler air coming out of, out of there. We also temporarily finally got the, just the panel up off the ground. This is not where it's gonna, how it's gonna stay. We've got to actually put, as you can see. So we've got to deal with all of that excess wire and pull this back out and do this properly but he said we got these up and mounted for now let's go outside and look at the greenhouse film but well and say this we are not expert greenhouse film installers uh, i've never done this before in our lives so i don't know if we did this right or wrong but uh well we did it we had a single spring lock base that we ran around the edges of the door and down here and then over on the corners and going up to the top, we did the double spring lock base. And so that has our end wall, which you can see, this is pretty, pretty tight, stretch pretty tight, double layer. Uh, and then it comes, the piece that comes across top. And the reason we did a double piece here is that we're not sure if we will at some point, but we wanted to at least have the option of being able to take out this wiggle wire or spring lock on the outer edge and along the bottoms and roll these sides up uh, without so wanted needed these to be separate here on the end and uh, anyways um, you can see i mean it stretched pretty tight all the way down pulled across and um I don't know, we're really we're really happy with how it turned out. I haven't completely trimmed this because again, just not sure. I'm sure people have thoughts or advice on that. Uh, didn't want to trim these much shorter than we did just because we're not sure uh, if we would need it uh, for some reason or want to adjust or need to adjust. So we just left this a little bit long for the time being. And the only other thing we said was this, this is the wiggle wire that we got, which is really nice. Uh, it's vinyl coated wiggle wire. It's got this gray paint, which is kind of helpful to know exactly where the middle is. And then blue here to let you know you're getting near the end. And then of course the blue on the end uh, itself. The only other piece that we don't have at the moment is a fan that will inflate the greenhouse between the two layers of the greenhouse film fan it's not super expensive uh, about 129 dollars the best price i can find that will should inflate the entire greenhouse the part that hurts is that the connectors the jumpers so if you've got the fan inflating from this spring lock here all the way across the top it's an airtight seal here so you have to have these ho jumper hoses that go from here to here and also from here to here and those things are about thirty dollars a pop and uh, so that that is going to add up so it's trying to think of other ways that we might be able to do that ourselves even kind of a diy going to lowe's and making up those air those connectors for the fans to blow the air if people want to leave suggestions about that in the comments that would be great all right, well, that's it. We had a really productive break a week. The greenhouse is up. Things are basically done. We just got to finish the electrical. And now is the fun part, the exciting part of actually starting to grow things in our greenhouse. And uh, we'll continue to bring you along with that. So hopefully by next week, we'll update again on this project. Hope everybody had a really blessed and happy Easter and uh, a great week ahead. So until the next video from here at St. Isidore's Farm, take care and God bless.